Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about adding harmonies to Soundtrap. And we're going to do this through the use of a, a plugin, although it's really not a plugin because Soundtrap doesn't actually have plugins, but you can kind of think of it as a plugin. It's actually just another website. So let me show you to this website. Here we go. This is onemotion.com slash chord hyphen player slash. So um, I'll put that link in the description below so that you can see it. But let me kind of walk you through what this uh, chord player actually does. It's really pretty cool here. So um, what we've got is a set of chords, right? And you can change this set of chords to be a different key if you come up here and click on the scale. So we want to stick in C major, but hey, if you wanted C harmonic mi major, you could do C harmonic major, C harmonic minor, double harmonic, I mean, all sorts of stuff. It, if you want modes, you can click over into modes and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna stick with C major for now because we like white key playing. Then all you have to do to hear the chord is to click on it. Click and hold and it'll sustain the chord and you can begin to write chord progressions. So that's kind of cool. Then all you have to do to actually record that chord progression, so you know how to play it <coughs> over and over again, is to hit the record button. And then C, E minor, F, G. When I'm done, I'll unclick the record button. So that will now play that progression. you're like, Edwards, that's a little boring. I'm not going to lie. Well, check out this style button. You can come in and click down and be like, hey, I want to do I want to do dance one at 85 BPM. You could even change the instrument. and then play it again. Now what if you're like, wait, I wanna change this chord, that really didn't work. Well, you can edit that one chord and be like, oh, instead of G major, I really wanted to go back to C major. You could even change the bass note if you're familiar with that or the duration of the note. Maybe you only wanted it to last two beats, but let's try this with C major and let's go back to the upright piano. It always starts from the last chord you clicked on. Cool. Maybe I don't want them all to last four beats. In that case, you could use the edit all button and change your units from a bar to a beat. And now you'll notice kind of the lingo that this begins to work with. Four C, four E little M is E minor, four F, four beats on C. So let's go back and say we wanted to do the G there. And I would need to use a capital G. But let's say I don't want it to last four beats. I want it to just last two. And then I want one of an A minor and one of a G. And then I'll hit OK, and you'll see that bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, we now have a new uh, progression down here. And again, let's go with this upright piano. Here we go. From the top, that sounds like this.
Now, I think that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I want to use that in some kind of Soundtrap project. Um, now, you're asking, how do I get that into Soundtrap? Well, you come here to this little button right here. And there's a project menu. Click on that and export that as a MIDI file. And it's going to give you a name. And you're like, sure, I want the bass and the chords to go. And they'll drop it right there if you're using Google Chrome. Then you can come into Soundtrap, enter a new blank studio project, or if you have a studio project already working, create you a sound, drag and drop that into, and now we've got the grand piano playing what we just had on the chord player. And you can change it to be any sound that you want at this point. String section? Sure. Slow it down to more what it was on the other one? Sure. Why not? There we go. And since you're here, you can go ahead and drop in a drum beat to go with it. Oop, let's not do it though. A full drum beat. And lo and behold, you've used a plugin to make harmonies now that you can implement in Soundtrap. I really hope that you found this helpful and that you can get in there and play around with this and do a lot of different things with it. So good luck and happy music making. If you like the video, feel free to click like and subscribe below.